Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Blissfully Unaware podcast. Uh, today, we I'm joined by my good buddy, Bobby. Say hello, Bobby. Hello. And uh, for the first time, give a big Blissfully Unaware welcome to Mr. Devin. Hello. Hey. Now, Devin, for our listeners who don't know who you are, and uh, Bobby, who doesn't know who you are either, uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Devin. Um, good friends with John. That's really all I got. Well, That's really, it. really hoping that would take about five minutes. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. Woo! Well, uh, since you're new to the show, uh, Devin, why don't you go ahead and tell us about your favorite podcast of ours that you listen to? Uh, oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, that one was good. I remember that one. That was good. <laughs> You haven't listened to one of them, have you? I think, I, think, uh, I think the whole one went like, just, <laughs> two just going back and forth. That was pretty, yeah, that was the that was yeah. the fourth episode, yeah. yeah that was the holiday special. So how long have y'all known each other? Uh, shoot, you started... I'm not talking about the meant... homosexual relationship, but... Well, yeah, that started, you know, friendship. That took two years to, you know... Um, I think since 2011... Yeah. 2010, 2011. 2011. Why hasn't he been on here before? Uh, cause I ran off with the military. Yeah, he just got back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember. I did. Got back in uh, what December? Welcome uh, back, man. Thank you. It was back in October, October I think. Yeah. October, November. When did you start back at our work, which we're not going to say what it is. I mean, hell. Um, <laughs> Novemberish. <laughs> If they've seen Employee of the Month, then they know what. <laughs> <laughs> we don't uh, Yeah, we work at Costco. Lovely company. Woo! Um, Best company in the world. That's right. Uh, but yeah, uh, but like you said, you were uh, you were in the Army. Yes. And uh, Bobby, of course, is in uh, the Marines. Uh, uh, you were, you got back, what, December of last year, Bobby? Yeah. So, yep. uh, as a two... Uh, Military vet. So, what would you say to someone who's hasn't been in the military? Uh, what's it like? When you're actually, you're actually in there. Well, it's two different worlds. I can tell you that, Marines and Army. Um, I'm trying to think of a good analogy for it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's all you need to say. You both just started cracking black. Well, <laughs> I'll let Devin finish. I got. I'll say something. Oh no! Go ahead. My analogy still run through my head. I was just gonna say that uh, it depends on what you're going in for. If you're, you know, some people do it because uh, they need a job, and then other people they do it for patriotism, or they have a combination of everything of traveling the world, which you don't really travel much. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> came to find find that out the hard way. Should have joined the Navy. Travel okay, you, you brought that you brought that up, Bobby. What was the reason? Why did you join? Well, uh, my dad was in the military. You know, my uncle was in, and then our grandfather was in. So I don't know. Stupidity, probably. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mine's kind of the same reason. Um, really. My whole family's been military. I'm a military brat. I mean, I just thought, hey, why not? Stupidity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't regret it. It was no, just... I'm with you. Yeah. I mean, we could talk a long time about this. <laughs> uh, so, okay. As someone, I have not been in the military. Um, so, uh, yeah. Hey, America, though, right? Yeah. We did it for you, John. <laughs> yeah, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You you, we did you fought hard for this country you. so three idiots like us can do a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What's funny though is I saw we went to uh, Barnes and Noble yesterday and I found this book. It was uh I guess a guy that just got out of the army, he has his own podcast and a blog and all this other stuff, but he did a book about uh, things that my drill sergeant said, <laughs> so I thought it was pretty funny, and it was just, a whole page took off just like one line of a random drill sergeant say, <laughs> but it was pretty funny. That would actually be pretty funny, I wouldn't mind reading that. Um, um, they come up I, with some good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
another thing which um, they don't really talk about much, but talking to both of you, we both have kind of similar experiences. But uh, after you're back, you finally get out. How difficult is transition back into civilian life? It's hard. I so. I never saw I never saw combat, so I can't I can't talk about that. I don't know if Devin has or not. Uh, yes, I have been to Afghanistan. I did deploy. Um, it's okay, so. <clears throat> so it's not easy. I'm not gonna say it is easy at all because I mean, last night I was a good example. We went out um down over to the bars in Fayetteville. And, uh, yeah, we were in a crowded place. I, I couldn't stand it. I was on guard the whole the whole time. I mean, and it's not to, you know, be mean to people or anything. It's just, it's just the nature of the beast. I mean. You get yeah, you're always kind of on high alert, right? Mm-hmm. I mean. They call it hyper, they call it hyper vigilance. Yeah, even my wife sometimes, like, did you mean a dick? I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm. I'm just, I'm focused, all right? <laughs> so, yeah, it is a little hard, and, you know, you just got to separate from, I guess, the military world and civilian on a daily basis. Because I was in a leadership role, so, you know, telling people what to do by, you know, law compared to talking to people on a daily basis without telling them, be, stop being a little shithead and stuff. Yeah. Doing it. <laughs> I got to be nice. Yeah, it must be difficult going from, you know, the way you guys talk in the military, then now you're in retail where you have to be, oh, yes, sir, right away, sir. Oh, yeah, and not every other word's the F word. <laughs> well, I get, to, I get to say whatever the fuck I want to say, so. Yeah, you lucky bastard. I know. It must be nice. <laughs> it's pretty nice. <laughs> Gotta be all touchy-feely. <laughs> well, sir, how is your day today? Well, let me tell you, you just I figure sometimes you guys just want to say, shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear it. I'm going to scan your items. And Suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> you fucking items all the way over there. I'm going to go fucking do my shit. Leave me alone. <laughs> Once again, we work for the wonderful uh, Costco. Costco. Yes. Lovely yes, yes, yes. establishment, Costco. Um. Yeah. Anything else uh, you guys would like to mention to someone who has never been in uh, any type of branch of military? What are we trying to say? Are we promoting them? Or are we trying to get them to go into a branch of military? No, no, no. Just kind of uh, inside uh, what uh, you know, a normal civilian wouldn't know about. It's a whole different world. <laughs> it really is. I mean, stepping onto a military base compared to stepping into bumfuck nowhere, completely different. People keep people kind of get in a good mindset of where they live at, and uh, you come in, and it's almost like you're a completely different race, a completely different person to them. Because some people never left their hometowns, you know, never did anything different. Military people tend to do so many different things on a daily basis. You know, I was a glorified janitor for a good three years of my military career. State That's all side. I got out of mine. <laughs> We should open up a janitorial business. Uh, I think we'd be awesome. We could hire vets. Yeah. yeah. Mowing lawns all day. <laughs> I think there needs to be a movie of... <coughs> or I think there needs to be a reality-based TV show on military bases that just follow guy, active duty members just... You know, guys are just like, hey, let's go to the bar tonight. Or, you know, just the stupidest shit that they get into. I think it'd be a, a gold mine oh. for television. Some of my buddies, what they did in the military, going out to the bars. Oh, my God. Yeah. Just they... those stories. <laughs> Too much stupid shit happened. Exactly. Would... So, uh, how uh, do you guys uh, keep in contact with any of your buddies that are still in active duty? Yeah, um, yeah, I try to. Um, but it's how hard. difficult is that? It's hard when they all separate. Like yeah. everyone you meet comes from a different part of the state, and yeah, it's hard. But yeah. it is what it is. Speaking, uh, speaking of combat, uh, there's a new Mortal Kombat recently came out. 
Now I can attest that me and Bobby, we played some Mortal Kombat back in the day. Oh, yeah. Uh, who was your character when you played as Mortal Kombat 2, 3? Uh, I usually liked, uh, I think I played, I did a lot, Liu Kang a lot. Liu Kang, yeah. Yeah. Mortal Kombat 2, I was always Baraka, and then Mortal Kombat yeah. 3, uh, going to Nightwolf. Yeah. That was my... <laughs> I, uh, I typically roll oh, with, uh, yeah. Scorpion. I was, I was... Get like, over uh, here! Um, now, that was a while ago, so... I think it was just whatever character looked the coolest to me. I'd play him. I tried now, watching I, the movie on Netflix the other day. Oh, I did. <laughs> I just watched it, actually. And I yeah, my such a kick out of it. I loved it for some reason. Oh, it's just so 90s. You can't... It's so good, though. But it's so good. It's so bad, it's good. I love it. Me and John it. were actually talking about it. And yeah. Some of the little things they do, like when uh, Liu Kang is fighting Sub-Zero and he's running down the ramp and he does his like, little two-punch <laughs> thing, I'm like, really? That's, you know, What's the no. purpose of that? <laughs> It was yeah, so horrible. Shitty, shitty graphics. The story <laughs> was awful. Hey, the story wasn't bad, Bobby. It was just, the sto- you know. Well, I don't even know why they chose Liu Kang to follow him as the the protagonist of it all. He's That's just always true. been their golden boy. So, but shit. <laughs> with, with the actual movie, though, um, they actually kind of kept true to the game in a way when with their fight scenes. A lot of it was actually just straight on them fighting. I mean... Yeah, yeah, they'd change around every once in a while, but they kept pretty true to it. Except for freaking Flawless Victory. Flawless Victory, you're not supposed to take a punch. That's right. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> like, oh, yep, they had yep. to say the key phrase. They had to throw it in there. That and uh, the freaking theme who was song. This? Who was the very first one when uh, Shang Tsung tells him to finish him and they don't? I don't know. All I remember is well, Johnny no. Cage running through the woods, running from yeah. the Scorpion's yeah. uh, spear thing. God. Well, no, I thought, no, it was Liu Kang. I thought that was the first one. Yeah, I'm one. pretty sure it was Liu Kang. He told him to finish him, and he just left him there. And then, uh, oh, yeah, then Shang Tsung went over there and just took his soul or something. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know Liu Kang's bitch-ass brother dies at the beginning. Yeah. They have that uh, <laughs> dream sequence. He's yeah, like, then he... Yeah. <laughs> My fucking uh, stroked out face, or whatever the fuck's going on. That dude, that dude was like in the 1970s Death Wish movie with Charles yeah, Bronson. He was. <laughs> Your soul is mine. <laughs> the one that but, got uh, me in that show or the movie was a uh, Raiden. <laughs> They pick like the the whitest guy in the world to play. Oh yeah, play Rad. The, the thing is, wasn't he, uh, wasn't he uh, Highlander? That dude played Highlander. I think he I played think, in it. I think so, but it was so funny because the first one, you know, he had you know this Raiden, and then or Raiden, Raiden. I think Raiden's Metal Gear. But uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, you had this Raiden, and then the second movie, because the second movie didn't come out too long after the first one. And then, like, everything's changed. That's a whole changed. podcast right there, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's, like, a whole new guy. And then, like, Johnny Cage dies in, like, the first three minutes. Spoiler what alert for you. Like, I've seen World Combat 2. What a 2. bitch. The movie came out what in 2000. spoiler alert. I know. No, it came out, like, 97, man. 90. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, but, yeah. So, getting back to Mortal Kombat. The yeah, Mortal Kombat, Kombat, the game. Uh, I personally haven't played it. I know Bobby hasn't played it. I've played the crap out of it. Devin can attest that it is a good game. Yes, it is. So I know that the previous ones, they kind of did a joking, almost kind of a very subtle joke with their fatalities. This one's so brutal. It's yeah. super brutal. Um, I mean, there's still the funny ones. Like, Jax has one it's called T-Rex. Oh, yeah, when he, like, he, like, smashes he, like, the dude's smashes arms the in. the arms in and rips their head up and puts a cigar right on their tongue. Like, they have some funny ones. But they've added quite a few new characters, too. Um, let me see here. Yeah, they added uh, Cassie Cage, who's the daughter of Johnny and Sonya. Uh, That's right. They get... What? Yeah. And she... Uh, <laughs> see, I didn't know it was... Uh, I didn't know it was with Sonya. I, just, I learned something new, Bobby. Yeah, I mean... Something new every day, the more you know. <laughs> Do you, if like, you play single mode, does it uh, that character go through a story, or is it just... Uh... Um, 
it's kind of uh, they did injustice. They kind of were behind that, but they did a story where you play as every single character, but a certain side of the story. Oh yeah, you never played the last Mortal Kombat, did you, <laughs> Devin? The uh, Mortal no. Kombat, yeah, from PS3. Or I PS3? never played it. Um. See, that's exa- <laughs> uh, it was very similar to how they did that one, where um, uh, where you if you want to play story mode. You, yeah, you, it's like you said. You just play through every single character. Like uh, you might you like, be like Luke Kang, and then you walk up and like, like you, I challenge you, or like someone comes up to you and wants to fight you. Like you can be in the middle of a cutscene, and all of a sudden you just kind of zoom in and go fight. And then you yeah, start fighting him. There's actually a story there. I mean, it's it's kind of a weak one, like the movie, but it's I mean it's it's good. It's it's different to see that. And you do like three or four fights with one character, and then you switch over to a different one. Do y'all think that uh, the fight games are losing ground with all the, uh, I guess I could say, uh, survival horror games or like more of the ones that where the guys want to have a longer? It's it's always been sort of a niche group of people. It's much like people who like some people only like first person shooters. Some people only like, um, you know, fighting games. Some people only like, you know, it's, you know, it's. It's a fun. It's a very fun casual game. You don't have yeah. to sit down and play it for hours. You can sit down and because uh, I can attest, you know, you know, Devin would be like, oh, I just want to play like two or three games. Yeah. yeah. And you know, you play that, you get your fill. Or it's a game you can sit down, get some buddies in, and pl- you know, play for hours. Yeah, it's a good drinking game. Um, they, uh, yeah, because I can sit down, and play a match, three, three, four matches in fifteen minutes, and do whatever I need to do for the rest of the day. <laughs> um, so basically it's just like oh i want to get on there and kill some fucking people kind yeah of like letting for- out your aggression i guess that's a good way to put it um or just you're sadistic and like it <laughs> bobby there you go <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> so uh some of the rest of the characters they added they added uh let me see one two three four five, yeah six, but the only problem I, I really have with the game is not enough classic characters yeah, they uh, they cut a metric ton of classic characters, and actually in the story you see all the ones that got cut, and it's like, I want to play. And you actually fight some of them, which is like, okay, well, the model and fight's there, but where's the character? Yeah, and I think we talked about this before, Devin, where what they're going to do is down the road, two or three months down the road, they're going to put you know them all together, like two or three characters – Buy these three characters for five bucks. Buy these yeah. three characters for five bucks. Just I mean, a way to make more money. They've they've already started doing that with Goro and Trimmer and Tanya. So I mean I I don't see why they wouldn't continue doing that. Um, but they actually do a really cool thing. So I don't know if you're familiar with the tower mode. Um, but they'll have uh, like a weekly tower um, that's up for seven days and it'll be about a certain character and actually. Uh, this last one was about Tanya, so they'll actually let you try the new characters, so that way, if you like them, you can get them. So that that's a really cool thing that they did with uh, the new one. Fair enough, but um, but yeah, <clears throat> but one of the other characters they added to that, definitely one that Bobby would love to play whenever he plays it, Jason Voorhees. Yes, yes. Uh, Jason is actually a very fun character to play as. You just feel like a powerhouse with him. And I, and I love the fact that he, he, looked, just, he looked really fast too, which is yeah, he he's surprisingly odd. fast, um, but he's kind of slow at the same time. If that makes sense, like it looks like he's moving, like he's walking slow. But it's just like in the movie where he's walking slow, but he's somehow still catching the the teenagers. Yeah, I think one of my favorite things about Jason was um, when you do his fatalities. Um, it actually has like the old horror um, sound effects with it. Um, I wish I wish I could actually pull it up, but that old like quick violin sound, yeah, as he's like chopping someone's head off, uh, it's it's satisfying, honestly. Oh man! So I want to add something. Go for it. Would you, would you? This would, I I think me and John's talked about this a lot, but would you go to the movie? To where they're all on the screen, you have all the horror icons, all the slasher dudes from the 80s and the 90s, and they're just up there just fucking killing people left and right. I think they did that, though. South Park. 
the <laughs> imaginary, whatever the imaginary friends one. I think I missed this. What is it? <laughs> it's a, it's like a three part episode where they go to the land of imagination. Oh, and it's got yeah, like yeah. Where he's and Freddy and all that, but <laughs> like the little critters, the the evil critters. Yeah, like yeah. The, but the sharp teeth, the hairy uh, critters. They're like all the they're like magical hey. creatures, like like little uh, like Hail little chipmunk. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about critters, like critters, the horror movie. Oh no, no, no. no, no. hairy yeah, aliens. No. The the South Park episode uh, has a three part series about that. You need That's to look awesome. that one up. You'd probably like that, Bobby. Yeah, yeah but as far as like a big budget movie, I think that'd be pretty sweet. I mean, I'd have to turn off my mind for it. There might not be a story to it. But. Oh no, of course not. There's not gonna be a story to it. It would just be, I think it would always be impossible. You know what would be awesome different. if they did? It's like, sort of like, I think the History Channel had something like, you know, like great warriors when they fight each other. Like, have a TV show where, uh, like, the crowd gets to pick, you know, like, you know, Freddy versus Michael Myers. Who would win in a fight? And then actually watch the fight take place. Well, just the if you take the movie Freddy versus Jason, for instance. I think that was in development hell for... Yeah, it's so hard to get and then, creators and licenses and all that crap. That's what it breaks down to, like Sony doing what they did to Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> Not allowed to be in the well, Avengers because... Well, he's going to be in the next well, Avengers now, right? Well, they're going through you know development hell with that, but also with his contract, saying yeah. that Spider-Man's got to be a straight white man <laughs> and no longer allowing him to branch out... <clears throat> Because uh, I mean, because you were saying in one of the comic books, he was he was black. He was. Uh, yeah, he got. I can't remember what happened to actual Peter Parker, but they went with a guy named Miles Morales, and uh, I think that might have been a reboot. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because when he was telling me that, like, apparently it's also in Spider Man's contract. His first name has got to have the same letter as his last name. <laughs> it's in it's in the contract. It can't true. be Spider Man unless you're Peter Parker, Miles Morales, and then you're gonna have uh, Jimmy Johnson next. So. Look out for that. Jimmy Johnson. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jimmy Johns is coming back. And he's going to coach the Cowboys to another victory. Oh, God. Hell no. Uh, but, uh, so, next year, 2016, going to be right. presidential race. Someone who's recently come out, they're going to run for president. <laughs> Donald Trump. What are you guys' <laughs> thoughts on that? No fucking way. Um, I think he's got the money to back himself through a presidential campaign, but and that's what's think... that's what's scary is someone like that can actually run for president. I don't think he has the what it takes to be a president because you got to think. I mean, I'm not gonna bash the guy, but he uh, he's riding on his father's coattails. He's filed for bankruptcy way too many times, and I don't think he's gonna. I don't think his heart's in the right place for it. I think he's more there for, um, hey, look at me. You have, have you haven't forgot about me? Pretty much, that's what it's a big publicity stunt to, because his his show that used to be somewhat popular, I don't even think is on anymore. He just wants, uh, hey, you don't you don't forget about me and my uh, come over. <laughs> <My wig. laughs> he should make it bigger. Yeah, just start. Let it, just let it keep foam like coming get like over an, as big. Get as an Afro pick and just start <laughs> start going up with as it. he's doing his political speeches. <laughs> like, Don't mind me. This is why take- I disagree <clears throat> with you, Bush. So, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever, Hillary, just stay over there. Or have Fire. the whole, you know, uh, where there's something about Mary, you know, Mary. Yeah, God. Just oh, hell, Joe. It's all just like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. But it would be interesting, though, I'm not saying I would vote for the guy, but it would be interesting to see someone who's not a politician actually become president, a non-politician president. I think budget-wise, I think he'd do a great job. Um, but when it came down to, like, uh, military or something Military else. and international affairs, I don't think he'd do such a great job. But yeah. What is he? Is he a Democrat or Republican? Or... I think he's Republican. Let me see here. Does he own a gun? Knowing him, I I would imagine he would own a gun. <laughs> Just the I'm way sure he talks, well. he seems like yo yo. You go over here, you know, you're fired. You're not fired. I'm gonna <laughs> blow your brains out, right? Just get out of here. 
I'm sure he has people who own guns for him. Yeah. Well, of course, but of course, Obama, you know, he was against, you know, citizens owning guns, but look at the people that's protecting him. They have guns. They need to write it into whatever document they need to write into that every president has to serve in the military. If you're going to be I elected, mean, you have to serve. Yeah, that would make I sense. Agree. I've always been if, like that. If you want to be commander in chief, you're going to serve in some form or fashion. Yeah. That would actually be a great law to pass. It would make sense. Well, you know, if you, if you want to run the country, you have had <laughs> to fight for the country. That makes sense. Yeah. Or you have to have a damn good plan. You know, with you know, maybe if you're power. not able, you be damn good at risk. Yeah, no shit. I can pl- I can play Stratego. <laughs> I'm good with the strategy. Want to see strategy? I'll play some Final Fantasy. <laughs> hey, don't you even bring up Final Fantasy. Don't even start with that. Uh, that was a that's great a whole podcast on its own. Which, by the way, I'm not going to go into it because uh, I think me and Devin at some point we're going to go through E3, the video game part. Uh, yes. which, have you heard about that, Bobby? E3, Electronic Entertainment Expo, where they show all of the new. Uh, new games and stuff. That's I saw an out. article where there's this game that's been in production for eight years. They've been developing it for eight years. I don't know what it is. No, I'm interested. I'll be back. They showed a preview at that big convention. Uh, Sony's been doing a developing this game for the past eight years. And I can't. I don't. I never got the name of the game or anything. Uh, look it up. But do you remember back the Last Guardian? That's what he said. Oh about. yeah, yeah, yeah. Last Guardian. Yeah. Yeah. We won't get into that. We're kind of oh yeah, that would that, one. that would say <laughs> yeah. That's one of y'all's little cast things. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you remember you remember back in uh, probably seventh grade, Bobby, when I made you sit down and play Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, I wanted to break your fucking arm. <laughs> it was such a great game, though. But Bobby, don't worry, don't worry. They're making an HD remake for it, and it's going to be coming out. And we can bring you over here and we can make a podcast of me making you again. It'll be like recreating no. stuff. Strap you to a no, chair. No, no, it'll be recreating. So it'll be like, hey, this is a memory we had back then, but now it's updated. It'll be fun. You know, I won't lie. I only got about halfway through seven. Okay, it's, where do I click to take it? <laughs> no. I don't know. But no. I, I was never a big... Uh, I guess if you want to call it the Final Fantasy or the Pokemon style fighting, I mean, no, uh, you're wrong. Turn base, yeah, turn base. Yeah, turn base. Yeah, there you go. That's the freaking name for it. Um, yeah, yeah. Because Bobby I'm was pretty- always like, Bobby, because it'll be my, t- you know, your turn. You go up and hit him. Like, like, why the hell am I going over there and hitting him now? <laughs> why am I just standing here taking it? Oh man, but, man. that was so stupid. <laughs> it was, it was so good. Well, yeah, yeah. That's a whole E3 is a whole different podcast which by the way i don't know if you can see my shirt yeah that's a whole different one too yeah. we'll have to wait yeah. on that one just so we can get bobby in this <laughs> devin go ahead and tell him why he needs to start watching the show oh man because <laughs> i think we have like a podcast that could last four hours just talking yeah. about the show <laughs> it's so just good. for the last season just for the last season alone i don't know man i know that's i need to i want to Okay, it's only it's five episodes, ten episodes per season. You can get through that. I mean, five seasons. Five seasons. Yeah, five seasons. yeah that's right. Uh, but five You're seasons. Edit that shit. <laughs> Don't worry. Any time that I look stupid, I edit it out. But um, <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah, I leave your stuff. Evan in. and Bobby look fucking retarded, but I'm awesome because I'm. I've got to be the genius. Whoa! Well, once you're the one who, <laughs> when you control this stuff, you can do whatever you want. You're like but, for uh, five hours. You're like, man, I don't like how I say that. I gotta, I gotta. Uh, You'd be surprised. I, 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 that's how I start John's off. Saying one like the, word for every like two minutes. <laughs> no, yeah. the, like the first five minutes, I'm like, okay, yeah, I can make myself look good. And then after that, I'm like, screw it, you know, just. <laughs> I'll look just as dumb as everyone. But yes, you need to start watching Game of Thrones in case if anyone hasn't realized that's what we're talking about. But uh, speaking of, you know, that Jurassic World, I think we kind of touched on that during the last episode, Bobby, but neither one of me or you haven't seen it because we're not apparently American. I had, had someone come up I'm to me the other day. I'm waiting before... I think it was me. I think I was told you, you that. John, I'm pretty sure I was the one that told you that yeah. you weren't American, so yeah. you need to get out of our country. <laughs> yeah, and I think uh, one of our managers said, "What? Are you not a man, or what's what's going on?" 
<laughs> he would tell you that. Yeah, too. yeah, he would. And he did. Uh, but yeah, Jurassic World, uh, top of the box office still. Uh, no, I- making records. Making records. Yeah, Crazy. it is breaking records. Left and right. Sounded kind of Irish when I said, ah, top of the box office to you. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> Fucking leprechaun. <laughs> oh, you'd start an Irish descent. <laughs> Actually, well, I don't think it's on your side. That's Irish. It's my dad's side, but whatever. But, um... But yeah, Jurassic World. How good is it, Devin? Um... Out of five stars. Out of five, I'll give it a four. I'll give it a four out of five stars. That's solid. That's solid. For one, uh, it gets two and a half stars just for Chris Pratt. Yes. Uh, that guy is so charming. I wouldn't. I would say two and a half I'm stars straight. just for no, dinosaurs. Like, that guy's charming alone. Now, would it be breaking all the records if Chris Pratt wasn't in the lead role? I think it still would. I think it was. You put any freaking Billy badass on the screen and. But you gotta admit it was smart of them. They're writing. They know how popular he is right now. Yeah, like, yeah get Star Lord. Chris Pratt in here. Um, yeah, I think. Well, it's better than uh, Tommy Lee Jones going back on screen. So. <laughs> so. <I mean. laughs> hey, what's wrong with Tommy Lee Jones? Um, the the only thing. So Chris Pratt in the movies, and uh, he is over re- not retired, but he left the Navy as an animal trainer. So his main. I just love that classic scene of him just going. Just yeah, his main goal in the stop. movie, which actually the setup for that portion was brilliant. Um, his main portion in the movie is just training these raptors. He's he got brought in to train raptors, to try to you know see if because they are intelligent enough to, you know, try to be trained and try to give commands and whatnot. Did say how many people died trying to train a raptor? <laughs> um, they What's they the kind of hint on it. Look, Thirty-seven. <laughs> 37 trainers died in the making of this film. I don't... A lot of extras got killed by raptors. Like, uh, that's what they kind of said. They are like, well, how do you think you got this job? You know? <laughs> Someone else died before you. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. But, but uh, yeah. yeah, the movie the movie was good. It was... Um, From what I heard, it's kind of like a love letter to the people who loved the first one. Yeah, and honestly, the second one, too. Um, fuck the third one. Yeah, uh, it's true. <laughs> the Lost World. Where's that Nobody second like one? I don't fucking remember. Yeah, I think Lost, Lost World was... The third. the third one's where they go back to the island. Yeah. Is it? I think so. First one was the, was the park. Second one, I thought they went back to look for that kid. No, the second one's, uh, there's San Diego. The, oh, I always... Yeah, yeah. T-Rex breaks Yeah, the second out. one's with Vince Vaughn. Yeah. Oh yeah. Fuck you, Vince Vaughn. Yeah. Um, uh, hey, he's in a new wait, show. What's going on? The what's new, wrong? Uh, new no, uh, it's, it's my own no. personal issues. You don't like Vince Vaughn? He's the same character in each freaking thing he plays. Well, he is, but he, I love that character. I love his fast talking. I mean, like, I like he's like a used car. Crap. He's like a used car salesman. He's so That's like exactly so slimy, but he's I like him. But he's supposed to... Have you heard of the... Did you ever watch True Detective? I have heard of True Detective. Um, you, need, you need to watch it. I've told Bobby he needs to watch it. Shame uh, on you, Bobby. You I still haven't, haven't watched, watched it. it completely. It wasn't uh, old Matthew McConaughey in the first season? Yeah, Matthew McConaughey, Woody Harrelson. In the new uh, season, True Detective it has nothing to do with the first season. New cast of characters. I think it's got uh, Colin Farrell, um, Rachel McAdams, Vince Vaughn, a couple other people. It's just basically about, like, shady uh, law enforcement and, uh, like, they're trying to solve crime, blah, 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 blah. But, yeah, Vince Vaughn's so in it. it's a cap show. Yeah, cap show. <laughs> go get him cappers. But, uh, okay, last uh, last bit. We're running out of time. But we'll go ahead and touch on it before it comes we're way out. way over our time. Hey, hey, calm down with the attitude. <laughs> calm down with the attitude. It's going to be a longer episode. Yeah, whenever we say we're going to do a 30-minute episode, it's going to be two hours. But, uh, whatever. Duh. But, uh, yeah. New Terminator coming out. Thoughts? <sighs> Silence. Yeah, everyone. We've talked about Me and John have talked yeah. about it. I've actually read the, the synopsis for it. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, Khaleesi's. What, what exactly the is the... What exactly are they saying is the reason why Arnold has aged? Okay, so... It doesn't specifically say in the synopsis, and I'm going to leave out quite a bit because it could still be a little spoilish, spoilerish. Um, but Boy, essentially, spoilish. 
But essentially what happens is there's an alternate timeline that they're working on. And um, whatever, Sarah Connor actually meets no, you gotta with say the right, Sarah Connor! Sarah Connor! <laughs> she actually is working <laughs> Get to the she job, actually, So she actually knows about Terminators. So right at the first one, she never knew about Terminators, but she actually knows about Terminators. I think previously before the first one. So she's a kid. Um, she's a kid at that time, earlier before Terminator, and Arnold goes back in time. Yeah, say that right. Arnold. Arnold. Um, he essentially, I think, kills her parents i don't know but raises sarah connor and i guess because he's yeah <laughs> i love his reaction so yeah yeah they, they um arnold arnold um raises sarah connor um and so she ends up like calling him pops or whatever and uh <sighs> um tricking <laughs> now the most on. important question is do they do the robot God, I hope so. Now, I know, reading some of the quotes on um, IMDb, uh, they say, Arnold says, uh, I'll be back twice. So, they're definitely cashing out that quite a bit. He's just... They just didn't need to make it. The old governator. The governator. I'm gonna do one more movie for you. The next one's gonna be Kindergarten Cop. They didn't make... What was the one before Salvation? That was the one with, uh, oh, um... Salvation was with Christian Bale. Yeah, Bale. Yeah, the one uh, before that with is the female... Ter- uh, that was yeah, Terminator 3. That three. was Terminator yeah. 3. That was, yeah. uh... What was the subtitle? Okay. Terminator so, 3. John, did we ever do a podcast on Terminator 2 Judgment Day? I know we talked we about... We talked it. about uh, best movie sequels. And we talked about Terminator There 2. will never be... Oh, man. Top oh. three movie sequels, easily, Terminator 2 Judgment Day falls within the top three. I would put it I'll in. I'll agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Best movie sequels. Um, yeah. Uh, we can go to the podcast ne- on that. that the, the 90s, that movie is, oh, man. No one will ever top that action movie. Oh, yeah. Ever. It's just stars were aligned every which way. Arnold in his prime. Arnold <laughs> needs to stop now. Well, I no, want to. I, I want to see Maggie. Maggie looks good. Oh, yeah. um, I I think he should stop with the Terminator series. I get that's kind of his iconic role, but uh, I can't remember the name. He played in a movie recently. I think in the past couple of years with Johnny Knoxville. The Last uh, Stand. Yes, yeah. The Last Stand. Now that was, was actually good. I I enjoyed it. It felt like a good '90s movie with some of the new age technology. Now, I don't know if I told you about this, Bobby, and uh, but Arnold recently, like two or three months ago, had a movie. It was like, like no one really talked about it, but it was like, uh, it was a zombie movie with Arnold. And, oh, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you were you the one who told me about that? I did. I made you look yeah, it up. Yeah, that's right. Did you watch it? No, I haven't. It had decent reviews, actually. It was like a slower paced zombie movie. What was it? Did it go straight to film right away or video? No, it came out. Um, I don't know Limited if it came out. Release. Yeah, I think I don't think it came out anywhere near here. It was one of the coast movies where they only send it out to a couple of theaters on each coast. But I remember seeing some reviews for it, and it got like eight and a half, um, eight and a half out of ten. He needs to need, he he needs to go into like the you know. The smaller action comedy movies, you know. I think twins. I think you should just. I heard they're away. making another Twins. He needs to stray away. I think he needs needs to go to a good TV series like some of the other actors have been doing. Hook up with HBO. Yeah. Um, Here's something you guys need to look up after you get up, after we get off. Uh, look up uh, Arnold. Uh, uh, it's basically Arnold goes to the uh, wax museum, whatever it is in Hollywood, and. Uh, and just standing there, he's in his Terminator getup, and people are sitting there taking pictures with him, and all of a sudden, like, like, yeah, get closer! And then they just start <laughs> scattering. Yeah, I watched that yesterday. That was pretty good. I know, um, he was on a cooking show, I can't remember which one, or it was a SNL skit, and, uh, it was a cooking show that they were doing, and 
they were cooking and Arnold had like a PTSD moment. He's like, get to the chopper! And he flips, like the whole table. God, I gotta look that up. I'm not doing no more chopping! <laughs> I'm done! But, uh... Oh, well, guys, I believe that's gonna be time for this episode of uh, Blissfully Unaware. Uh, I want to thank everyone for listening. Uh, as always, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, if you like what you're hearing, which uh, all five of you should go ahead and do that. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, next time you come on, go ahead and listen again. You know, go ahead and say, hey, Devin, we like you being here. As always, Bobby and me. And uh, we love everyone. We love, we love you. We're going to become the Trinity. That's right. The Triforce. If you're a Zelda the fan. Trifect, the tri- Oh, my God. <laughs> or sometimes yes. I like like to think Three Stooges. Three Stooges. Or yeah. uh, Three Kings. <laughs> it was a movie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely Three Stooges. Three Stooges. Anything else? Threes. Three's hey, company. if we get really big, we can do it to where we're all together and we can actually have like live feeds and shit. We you could. Know? We could back-to-back it. Well, that sounded gay, but yeah, let's go ahead and... <laughs> <laughs> Human centipede it. Mm. Now that sounds like a good time. I'm first. I'll just, I'll just talk. <laughs> oh. So, wait, wait. So you first. Oh, I don't want to be at the end. <laughs> John's at the end. No, let's go ahead and edit it. Where no, I'm he's in the, the middle. <laughs> yes! I get the best one. All You're right. the baloney. But, uh, yes, uh, go, uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, Devin, thank you for joining us. As always, Bobby and John, we love you. Goodbye.